Hello everyone, today we will compare Framer and Elementor, two of the most popular website builders. Framer is known for its robust design system and interactive prototyping while Elementor has made a name for itself with its intuitive drag and drop interface. And in this comparison, we'll dive deep into their features, pricing, security and privacy, customer and support, pros and cons, and at the end of the video, I help you choose which one is the best for you. So make sure you watch till the end because I have created a presentation that will help you easily make an informed decision to choose the correct option. And if you want to sign up for Framer and Elementor, you can use my affiliate links in the description below where I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And you might also get rewards or discounts upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So now let's start with the features comparison and as you can see when it comes to user interface, Framer has a code base with visual editor while Elementor is a visual drag and drop editor. And when it comes to design components, Framer offers a wide range of design components while Elementor offers a various pre-designed elements and widgets. When it comes to prototyping, Framer has advanced capabilities while Elementor has limited features. When it comes to animation, Framer has powerful animation tools while Elementor has basic animation features. And when it comes to collaboration, Framer has collaboration tools for team projects while Elementor has limited collaboration features. When it comes to code export, Framer has the ability to export code for development while Elementor has limited code export options. When it comes to customization, Framer is highly customizable while Elementor has, you know, limited customization options. When it comes to being a learning curve, Framer has steeper learning curve while Elementor has beginner-friendly interface learning curve. And when it comes to integration, uh, Framer integrates with various design tools while Elementor integrates with third-party service and plugins. So now that's it for the features. Now let's go to the pricing. As you can see, when it comes to free trial, Framer has it and also uh, Elementor has it. So both platform has free trial available. And when it comes to uh, entry level, as you can see, Framer doesn't have it while uh, Elementor has it and it starts for uh, $49 a year for one site. So when it comes to professional uh, subscription, Framer starts at $15 per month or almost $150 a year, $180 a year while Elementor starts at $100 a year for three sites. So that's already three sites. So when it comes to team subscription, Framer starts at $79 per month while Elementor is not available but similar features can be obtained through higher tier plans. Now when we talk about enterprise, both Framer and Elementor has a customizable enterprise plan which means customizable pricing. So yeah, that's it. So now we're done with the pricing, let's go to uh, security and privacy. And as you can see when it comes to encryption, both platforms uses encryption for data transmission. And when it comes to data protection, both platforms complies with GDPR and other data protection regulation. And when it comes to data access control, Framer provides access for uh, project sharing while Elementor provides access controls for users' roles and permission. And both platforms regularly update for security vulnerabilities. So, yeah. So another is the third-party integration and both platforms also use uh, security measures for third-party integration. Also, both platforms has transparent and user-focused privacy policy. And when it comes to incident response, both has produces for handling security incidents. So they're just the same. And lastly, when it comes to compliance, also both platforms complies with relevant security standards. And yeah, that's it for security and privacy. Now let's go to uh, customer support. And when it comes to community engagement, uh, Framer has uh, technical collaboration features. While Elementor is a multiple user collaboration, which means larger community. And when it comes to support channels, Framer doesn't have it or it's not specified. While Elementor has extensive support through forums, facts, and tutorials. And when it comes to ease of setup, Framer is a easier to get set up, while Elementor requires more initial configuration. And when it comes to quality of support, Framer preferred for ongoing product support. While Elementor is comprehensive, while but 
can be complex so yeah that's it for customer and support now we're done with the features and pricing now let's go to the pros and cons and first let's discuss the pros and cons of framers and when it comes to pros framer offers a blend of ai driven design tools and intuitive user interface and the advanced control over interaction and animation they got it and it's very ideal the framer for teams who are focused on real-time design adjustment so when it comes to framer cons as you can see framer is more suitable for those with coding experience so if any people who doesn't have any coding experience they may find framer you know very challenging and also it lacks native e-commerce features though it supports basic functionalities through third-party integration so now we're done with the Premier pros and cons. Now let's start with Elementor pros and cons. And when it comes to pros, as you can see, Elementor is a drag and drop interface that is easy to use. And it has robust capabilities through WooCommerce integration, ideal for detailed control over online store design. And also it's strong customer support and has a active community engagement. And when it comes to uh, Elementor cons, as you can see, it requires more initial configuration compared to Framer and also while offering a wide range of features, reliance on plugins can be a double edged sword, potentially leading to bloat and conflict. So that's it for the Elementor pros and cons. Now we're done with the pros and cons. So let's go to which platform is the best for you and let's discuss who should choose Framer. And Framer is perfect for those who need to create interactive prototypes with complex animations. Perfect for groups that require real-time collaboration and design progress for individuals or teams. Looking for a tool that supports innovative design with a focus on interactivity. For users who want to convey the look and the feel of the intended final product though through high-fidelity prototypes. And for people who teach or learn UX or UI design, as Framer provides a practical platform for demonstrating interactive design principles. So if you got all this quality, I recommend that you choose Framer over Elementor. And now let's discuss we should choose Elementor. And Elementor is perfect for anyone using WordPress who wants an easy to use drag and drop page builder. For those who need to quickly create landing page and pop-ups for campaigns. For blog owners looking for add extra flair to their posts without needing coding skills. For individuals passionate about crafting visually appealing pages with a focus on design. For users who prefer to build and edit web pages in real time without any coding knowledge. And for those who need to manage their website without hiring a developer. So if you got all of this quality, I recommend that you choose Elementor. And yeah, that's it. So in, uh, in conclusion, as you can see, both Framer and Elementor offer unique features and capabilities for designing and building websites. Framer provides advanced prototyping and interaction design tools while Elementor excels in its intuitive drag and drop interface and extensive template library. And if you're a designer or developer looking to create a highly interactive and dynamic prototypes, Framer could be the perfect choice for you. Its powerful features allow for precise control over animation and interaction, enabling you to bring your designs to life with ease. On the other hand, if you prefer a more straightforward approach to website design, want access to a vast array of pre-designed elements and templates, Elementor might be the better option. And its user-friendly interface makes it easy for anyone to create professional-looking websites in a fraction of the time. So ultimately, the choice between Framer and Elementor depends on your specific needs and preferences. So yeah, that's it for the comparison. And the only question left is what platform? would you choose and that's it for this video see you in the next one